Welcome back. In the previous part, we went around and did several little side quests because it's important to get the side quests done in this game. Build up the community. That's why we've got a smiley face over here now. This guy does not have a smiley face. Roly Poly is not very happy just yet. So, I mean, you need to see about getting that sorted in future. But yeah, other than that, we didn't really do anything. We just came here and said something about getting on this little ship here and then heading off to Gormot, which is pretty much what we're going to do now. So, let's get that done. Captain's Apprentice, Ged. So, you're finally here, eh? Took your time. I've been waiting for you. Going to Gormot? Set out. Hop on. I only just became a Titan ship captain's apprentice. It might be a bumpy ride. Try not to hurt or nothing. I'm sure the blades will be alright, but... Well... Uh-oh. I don't trust how creaky it is. It's just like, oh god, it's gonna drop at any point. Loading. Now let's see if this place is any different. See, it already looks different, doesn't it? Like, the general area looks the same, but... Always impressed by how much they've done with how underpowered the switch is. Gormont. Lady Laura, welcome to Lash Lashkem Cove. So this is Gormont, huh? It's so pretty. And the grass really is greener on the other side. It's a kind of a dream destination, isn't it? And that exactly why everyone's trying to claim it for themselves, ruining it for everyone else. Still, it's not like there was anywhere else to turn to. This is practically the only place where Lady Laura's mother could feel secure these days. Don't look so glum, Hayes. If it weren't for you, I never had found out that my mother fled here. I can't thank you enough for that. Yes, I suppose. Come on, let's go to Torigoff. I can't wait to see Mother again. Okay, let's just head along the road, and it will take us straight there. Just remember, this is uncharted territory for us. Try not to... Never mind. It's not like I need to tell any of you that. Yes, I dare say we've all learned to exercise caution by this point. Let's not dally then. Onwards! Kinda cool. Alright, so let's loot the place. Oh, side quests it is. coming with me, treasure. It is very much like, yeah, we're focusing on side quests, remember? So it's like, yep, yeah, if I see one, I'm doing it. Prince Adam, what pleasure to see you again. Is Mac Mac, most trusted intelligent operative. Prince grows so big and gorgeous. Ah, uh, if only Mac Mac was 30 years younger. Just kidding, of course. Where was Mac Mac? Ah, yes. Uh, a case of poisonous substances dealing. Dum Dums not realize how dangerous that is. Poisonous substance is red pollen orb. Some dumb dumb stupid enough to buy, and Dina rakes in gold. Mac Mac is on trial of tri trial. Oh dear, is on trail of dumb dums, but dumb dums always seem to be one step ahead of Mac Mac. Which brings Mac Mac to request Prince Adam, help efforts of Mac Mac to seize red pollen orbs. Pollen orb cargo stored in green barrels. If friends see green barrels, should smash into pieces on the spot. Under no circumstances use pollen orbs, or Mac Mac personally show up and give spankings. It's clear. I don't want to do that, see if you do. Mac Mac will return to Torna in the meantime and gather more intel on Dum Dums. We personally expose Dum Dums for wrongdoings in the name of Prince Adam. That about it from side of Mac Mac. Please! To look for green barrels and retrieve a pollen orbs. Well, Alright then. I can see some green barrels all over the place. In troubled times, we help each other. Alright, so let's focus on that first. Definitely get that sorted. Green barrels. The suspense is killing me. You're coming with me, There's treasure. some red pollen orbs there. Big bird over there. This old machine again. It's like, hmm, 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 hmm. 
Let's spam through you. Right, lovely, your community is done. It's like, the thing that's like making me curious is like, what is Torogoth at this point in time? Is it, is it anything we like recognize or is it something else? I'm hoping it's something else because this place wasn't here before and that's interesting. I wonder if I have to explore all of Gomot again. Kind of part of me sort of like, it'd be interesting to do it again under different circumstances. There's some miasma down there, I see it. Get that sorted as well. Come on, it's just spam me through you. I like your setup, your costume here. Like this little shoulder thing you've got going on. Kind of cool. So it's just the one quest, alright then. Okay, so... Hmm... Aggro reduction, that could be cool. So I'll buy one of them. Just to be sure. I don't think I need anything from you, do I? Well, I suppose that is better. So it's like... It's like, we've got to do it. It's just like, if it's better, it's just more damage than we're going for it. There's no, it's no special things that we have on these at the moment, so it's like, of course we're going to do that. You can probably find better ones out in the, the wilds and stuff like that when I go exploring at some point. But, you know, it's like, I, I may do it after this part, seeing as we end up in a new area. You know me. That's the new area I want to explore and find out what's out there and see what we can find. So, current objective. 13 of 70? So it's like, can I just, can I just do this? Boom, like that. Because I may do that. Nice change of pace. All right, remind me why we're here again? So no, the green barrels do not reappear. Okay, that's interesting. Unless they this do, but I've got to go to another completely different area. Like, the collection points reappear. Other things do not. So where was that miasma? There it was. Ding, 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 ding. This is becoming addictive. It is going to be a case if I'm going to go off and explore in between the parts. It really is. I can already feel it. It's like, You're it's going to happen. With me, I'll try not to over-level, but no promises. You, you know how I am. I'm going to turn the aggro on. This is how it is. Just, I won't be able to resist at all. Birdie here. Where's the Mass American? There it is. Like, do I need to target you at all? How do I untarget? Stop targeting. Stop targeting. Stop it. Ah oh, well. I'll all kill right. you then. Follow my lead. We've got this. Ah. Ah. Just waiting for my topple chance. How about Let's go. Lucky break. Combo complete. Okay. Really Let's win that big ball there. Whoa, sweet in there. The ether bends as I will it. What? Doom, doom, doom. So I don't need to kill the enemies to do that. Ah, there we go. That's all right then. I kind of like that in a way. I don't have to kill the enemies to do that because of the aggro off, etc. I like it. I like it. This is becoming addictive. Thank you for letting me know what these yellowy, um, shiny ones do with the collection points. It's like, high chance of rare item. That's pretty much it. It's like, okay, cool. I, I like that. Let's thank you very much for that. Ding, 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 ding. We are heading towards a another addictive. side quest. Like, I'm doing the side quests first. You guys did say make sure you do them, so it's like they're going to be my priority Aren't before anything intrepid. else. This whole area, again, it makes sense that we're like, in sort of like a semi-sequel to Z Xenoblade in terms of its engine and stuff like that, a more refined engine. It's like, definitely feels like it's running at a higher frame rate. I spent a lot of time in this location in the main game. I've, I've got accustomed to it and it definitely feels... This is so strange. Now, I wanted it to look different, but it's so strange. It's so very, very strange. Look how different it is. This is becoming addictive. So, like, that tree wasn't it. there. You're coming so with bad. me, treasure. 
So bizarre. Cool. Get this collection point. This is becoming addictive. It really is. It's like, I'm just like, oh, what's over there now? Like, what's different? Like, this snake guy wasn't here before. Like, this place has changed in 500 years. Like, jeez. I mean, it makes sense, but, you know. Doc, they call me. You could say I'm an adventurer, but I also have a scholarly interest in the links between Ether and Titans. Do you lot know anything about this atmospheric disturbance called the Ether Miasma? I do. There's been a few of these Ether Miasmas popping up around Gormot lately. Only little ones, mind. I was going to go and have a look myself, but I got set upon by monsters before I could get very far. To be honest, it's more the intellectual side of adventuring that I'm into. I'm not too great at all the rough stuff. So I was just wondering if you lot could help me out. I bet you'd make light work of the Espina Ferris that caused me such bother last time. If you help me, uh, it'll let me really get stuck into my ether miasma related research, you see. Well, I'll leave that up to you. You look like you can handle it. I said I'd do it, so consider it done. Indeed. Okay, so it's very much like... Uh, defeat the Ferris, blah, 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 blah. Which is... Oh. We'll go do that. I was going to see what it say. We'll do the campsite and stuff. It's like, oh, we'll just get some of them dead then. Aren't we intrepid? Yeah, I guess we are. Like, there's one right there. I know what these guys are. Oh, there's got an exclamation above it anyway. So it's like, yeah, we'll destroy you. Why not? Right. There's enough one as well. I, I do love the battle music in there. It's very much like when I chose, like, the music for the intro. It's like, well, there's only one choice. Even people saying, like, when I was doing the coming soon and stuff like that. There is only one choice for the intro music. It's like, it's just such a good tune. Something I want to see about is maybe like using Haze to like get launch going and stuff like that. Because she does have launch, doesn't she? Suppose I start thinking about the people dearest to me. Let's see about that. Right. After that, it's hard not to end up grinning like an idiot. So, we didn't get the topple, so I can't do the plan up that I was I was going to test. Still should switch them. Because then could I just switch over to Haze like that? But we wouldn't get the. Um... Well, then we could switch back and get the launch, but we just have to get to the right point, really, don't we? It's just like hmm. Back into the fray. I like the way this is going. Rest in peace. Let's keep this up. Not too bad. I'll give you a hand. Heal while there's time. How about this? I'm fine. Just fine. Yeah, we're fine. I guess they have been met. Make sure we hold on to our health then. Best of luck. How about this? Like, I'm not going to be an expert at this, by the way. Remember, it's like, whenever I'm doing a Let's Play, it's like, I can't focus on doing the gameplay. I wish every victory was this easy. Ooh. Yeah, can't focus on the... I'll get the chest first. Can't focus on the gameplay and the commentary at the same time. It's like, my mind tries to do both, and it can't You're do both at the me, same time treasure. very well. So it's like, uh... So it's like, yeah, yeah. Plus, I need to get used to this slight difference. The ether bends... Doom, doom, doom. got that sorted as well, then. Cool. This music here is very, very jazzy, isn't it? And that's sort of the thing, like, this game has more jazzy music. Like, literally jazzy, like, not, not in, like, a buzzword or anything kind of jazzy. Like, actually, it's more jazzy. Took care of the Espina Ferris, did you? Oh, really? No fibbing? 
I'll be able to get on with my important research into other miasmas now. My hypothesis is that the miasma is an exhaust gas emitted by titans. Titans fart, I suppose you could call it. I'd go with Trump, but alright. I mean, it's not such a wacky idea. Any fool knows that a titan's main source of energy is ether. I have an idea that we fix the ether flows. We might improve the health of titans and disperse the miasmas. Of course, I've got quite a bit of work to do before I prove it conclusively. Hmm. Can't get by on guesses in science. Triple dot. You mean, none of you lot knows how to control ether flows? Flows. Well, I never. You could probably shut off an ether miasma, no problem, right? I just did a minute ago. No way, I don't believe it. Looks like my help of officer says is correct after all. I'll have quite a bit of work to do to gather up all the evidence now, mind. Oh, thank you so much, you lot. You've done a lot to advance the cause of the science. Cool. Do you have that? I don't think you have that word over there for, for fart in America, do you? Like, you don't have to use the word Trump for that. We do over here. It gets very funny with a certain things, like, you know, the obvious one. Top Trumps. Very, very funny when it comes to that. Well, what did you think I was going to say? But it's stuffed peppers. Hmm. Let's use the campsite. Let's burn to death first. Stand on the fire. Hmm. Let's chat then. I wonder what kind of place Torigoth is. You'll be re reunited with your mother soon, Lady Laura. I know, I can't wait. Gomot is a real sight to behold. But the beauty can harbor many perils. It's home to plenty of monsters. You should keep your wits about you, Hayes. I know, protecting Lady Laura is my duty. I never forget that, not for a moment. Yeah, I've got it co got her covered. <laughs> I'm sure the two of you will be able to keep me safe somehow. Do I have another chat? No. Let's get out of here. Alright, so we want to do... We look at the map. This is a quest over there. We're heading right for it. If we can, that is. Can I not... Move on. There we go. Can I not mark it? Mm. That's a shame. Like, this place does look very different. It's just the general map. It's just like... Just some key differences. Like the world has definitely shifted and changed over the time. Which is like makes sense. Like like just the fact like Torgoff is that. Definitely changed. Definitely adapted. Definitely is very, very different. Aren't we intrepid? But we're not going there yet. Probably not going there in this part, as a result of the fact like I'm doing often doing the side quests. Need to find some more barrels, but I don't think we'll find them. Very quickly, will we? I do need to do quite a bit of exploring. Level 34. Stay away from you. We're not meant to be doing this quest. I don't know, but I mean the aggro is off. But it's like just just in case it could destroy me. So it's like. Uh... This is becoming addictive. All right. So where's the quest around here? That's the question. Aren't we intrepid? We are intrepid. Yes. Okay. So quest. Where are you? Okay, so over that. I don't know why I'm macking out on that. I can just press the button again and it'll be fine. 33, 34s, etc. It's like, big bug over there. It's fine. It's fine. It's all lovely and fine. It'll be great. Another campsite. Oh, Coolie Lake Camp. Pretty cool. Well, bun bun. Here we are. It's bun bun. I say we rest a bit. This is becoming is addictive. <sighs> Let's speak to Pan Pan. Pan Pan! Oh, that nasty article, not nice. Well, friend, listen to woes of Pan Pan. There was ferocious crust on rampage. Oh, woe is Pan Pan. Rotten monsters set upon Pan Pan in Pan Pan's special napping place. Pan Pan's blood boils with desire for vengeance. Revenge! But Pan Pan has certain values that prevent from taking up arms, peace loving, nap loving, and so on. But still, Pun Pun would like to see him grin white from rude monster's face. Friends, Pun Pun cries for justice. Please take Pun Pun's place and give monster's friends right good drubbing. Monster not feel so tough when little pals are done in will reflect on error of ways. Would like friends to know name of foul beast is Maris Crustip. Is it that flying one there? Pun Pun not feeling of being bested by beastly in entity. 
and Monster has many, many friends in swampy lands around camp. Make mincemeat of three, and Pun Pun can rest easy in bed knowing justice being done. Pun Pun wait here safely and ponder wonder of justice. Pun Pun's arrival. Where well, we're not meant to do it we at this point. Turn a blind eye to people in need. I don't know. So it's sort of like... Okay. Level 34. It's like, can I take a level 34? Probably not. I could see about leveling up and maybe getting closer to it. But I doubt it. Probably at the start of the next part when I've done loads of leveling up, maybe. But we'll see. Because that's clearly going to happen. I, I, I won't be able to resist. It's like, we get to level 18. I fight for my friends. The future is within our grasp. Hopefully he, Adam, can get up to where Laura is. And then I may switch over to him. I wanted to play around with him. Could be a bit more fun. Alright, so I think it's time for us to uh, head to Gomot. Gomot? We're on Gomot. Torigoth, that's what I mean. And it's like, yeah, okay, we picked up the quest. We can't do it yet, because it's we need to be level 34, really, don't we? That's the ideal. It's like, it's just here. This is Torigoth over there. It just feels so strange. I'm wandering around because there may be chests and stuff, so it's sort of like... It's clearly some scrap metal there, like ancient machine or something like that. I see it, but it's not a chest, so I'm ignoring it. There's another one there. Why? What are these? I'm assuming we'll find out at some point, but it's still very strange. There's a chest. See, this is why I, this is why I came this way. You're coming with me, treasure. Ching, 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 ching. Aren't we intrepid? Indeed, we are. Very intrepid. Are we just keep getting I, like this is the thing. It's like part of me is like forgetting I'm doing the let's play. Let's put it like that. I'm just like, yep, let's let's just wander off over here and see what's there and find this lovely thing. It's like, wait, 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 wait. People are just watching me do this. It's like this is what happens. This is what happens. I just I just explore like like it's like oh what's that and, like, and then I'm gone. I've explained it before, but it's like yeah. There's something about this game where my mind just wanders off. So strange, there's a giant wall going around here, and it's like, oh, so bizarre. I like the fact this is a thing, though. Well, here we are. I say we rest a bit. Who's in? Oh. Here too. Gormot's an attractive target, but this. Whoever did this clearly had no compassion or respect for the people they killed. Well, whether it was Malos or someone else, either way, clearly they're all toast. Mithra. <laughs> Laura. It's... it's okay. Mother could have run away somewhere safe. Y yeah! Oh, I did not expect this to be like this when we got here. I think he gathered that. <laughs> sort of like, oh no. Oh no, I'm already exploring and being like, oh, there's a thing here. So how did they recover from this? To make the town we know. Oh dear. Scale chip. It's a green green barrel. I wonder if I have to look up a list of where all the green barrels are, because I want to get the quest done, so it's like a list somewhere. Oh, this feels very, very weird. Cause it's it's a place we know, but it's been burnt and it's before we know what it becomes. It's like wait. So many different emotions going on here. Interesting scene like that. I'd like to see sort of like a, this is what it looks like, 20 years, 40 years, and just see how it gets to the point we know it. That would be very, very cool in its own way. So it's like, they clearly chopped down the trees and stuff, didn't they, and used that to build the town. That's where the town came from. That's not a good sign. Hmm. 
look. Fresh graves over here. This kind soul must have dug them all. <laughs> What's wrong? Should... Should we maybe bury him, too? Huh? Hmm. Yes, let's. Ah, oh, crap, that made me tear up. This is very good DLC where it's making me get this emotional already. Jeez, like, alright. <clears throat> anyway, thank you, Jin. I'm alright now, really. Are you sure? If you're trying to put on a brave face, then... I'm trying to put on a brave face, I'm like, just like, oh no! No! It's fine, it's fine. Guys, do you think we could go back to the village again? Did you notice something? No, nothing like that. It's like, it's like, it's, I'm just trying to control my emotions right now. For some reason that hit me very, 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 quite, quite a bit. Anyway, I was just thinking maybe I could bring back something to offer to the rest of the graves beside mothers. They're all burnt to ashes. Is there really any point? Really, we... Didn't find anything last time. It's just, just peace of mind. All right, we can all look together. See, Adam gets it. It helps give you closure. Indeed. But dear God, that got me. It's just the idea of like, no, if she was finding being like gonna be happy, she would meet her mother and stuff like that. And it's like, nope. It was all taken away from her. Completely taken away from her in, the, in that single moment. And the fact that her mother was kind of waiting for her when you think about it. It's like, no, nope, they don't get that reunion. Don't have to tell me twice. They, they just don't get it. It's like, oh, no, <laughs> that's not right. I don't like that at all. Oh. It's like even thinking about that again. It's like, nope, my, my. I was almost to the point where my chin was quivering. It's like, oh, I don't like this. I don't like it. In a good way, don't like it. You know what I mean. It's like that sort of like, no. I, re I think it goes to show like how good the voice acting is really in this so far because just those little moments with Laura already have already sold me on her character and her journey. It's like, that's impressive. That's impressive. Dear God. So like it takes a lot for me to get to that point and it's already done it. That's what I'm impressed by, is that it takes me a lot to get to a point where I can tear up at a game. And it's done it already. Don't. We need to get mining, don't we? Ah, I love this DLC already. It's really, really good. Really, really good. Ah. Surround them! Huh? Ardanian troops, Imperial Guard. Thieving scum. Don't think you're gonna get away with your dirty deeds. What? No! We just... Problem, Captain? 
Mm-hmm. Same ones who attacked the village, perhaps. Drivers and blades. Mercenaries? So that's Bridget. Captain, I shall deal with these individuals. Emperor Hugo must be briefed. Yes, ma'am. You lot, stay here and assist the Lady Bridget. Son! I forgot she was blue. Ready to put Never another win under our belts? If I, am. Never again. I do like this. Never There's so much in this game I like in terms of music. Got the launch there on her as well. That's cool. Shame about his blade. Oh, hitting an enemy with a special begins a blade combo. A blade combo consists of three stages, and finishing it requires to move them in order. Okay. The first, second, and third stages of a blade combo require you to hit the enemy with a special that's at least level one, two, and three respectively to link them up. Okay. It's weird that that just came out of nowhere. You can also link up other team specials. When a team can use a special, a combo request will appear on the screen for you to give the order. I'm gonna go see it on the right. On the right there? On the left there. Think carefully. You can continue a blade combo all the way to stage 3 with special of any element, as long as you keep to the level requirements, but there are some fixed routes. These critical routes number 16 in total, and they're composed of a particular sequence of elements, for example, one such fire, 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 light, yeah, yeah, yeah. A finished critical route will trigger a special animation and cause extra damage, so be on the lookout for the other 15 special element sequences. So it would be nice if we can actually get that vault 3. Just keeping an eye on that vault free. Nope, oh, she died before that. I need to wrap this up before Lord Hugo arrives. Cha-ching! Cheap trick. Keep going like that, you'll get a reputation. Cheap, you say? Don't be absurd. It's called tactics, look it up. But perhaps that's something a simpleton like yourself could never hope to comprehend. Uh, a simpleton? Your attacks scream it. Clumsy, heavy, no refinement. Uh, I was gonna go easy on you. But now, now you have pissed me off! Uh, Mithra, stop! We've got children here! What was that? If that had actually hit me. Oh, <laughs> didn't like that, did you? I can see it on your face. Well, on that note, Hayes, understood. What? How? 
Is this... you? What the hell? She's our... enemy! Adam plainly ordered you to stop. Or didn't you hear him, simpleton? <laughs> How extraordinary. I'd heard of a blade with the power to restrain others, but I never thought... And did she say Adam? It can't be. All of you, lay down your arms. There is no need for this. Hello? Well, he seems familiar. It's good to see you again, Prince Adam. Please forgive the actions of my guards. Don't you worry about it. I am just glad to see you well, Your Imperial Majesty. Imperial Majesty? May I introduce? The Emperor of Mor Ardain, Hugo Ardenach. The Ardanian Emperor? What's someone of his station doing out here? You know, our stations are fairly similar. Not that you'd ever know. Thanks, I try. I've come from the Aegis. Its actions have been felt in Mor Ardain as well. We're currently chasing it down. The same as us, then. But coming here yourself. My brother is ruling in my absence. I see. And so you brought Bridget and Aegean. Huh? Those two are the crown jewels of the Ardanian forces. Wielding them on the front lines is the duty of he who has the throne. Indeed. That ought to have been my older brother. But he didn't have the potential to become a driver. And now, here you are, bonded with both of them. The Special Inquisitor is under my brother's direct command. Oh. Should I fall in battle, he has his orders to retrieve the core crystals. That sounds cold. That's how it goes with matters of state. And yet, it works out well for me. I have always wanted to put myself on the line for our people. And I never enjoyed wielding authority in the first place. I feel the same way. I don't get why anyone would want to sit on a throne. Yes, that. If Prince Zetar knew, there would be consequences. Let's pretend you didn't hear me say that. You two will never see eye to eye. Better to leave well enough alone. Ruling is, frankly, it's a scary thought. Just imagine becoming someone you don't recognize. Never knowing who's looking back at you in the mirror. Prince Adam, I'd be happy if you called me Hugo, like old times. I will, dear Hugo, but only if you call me Adam in return. Well, it would be beneficial to share our findings, but perhaps elsewhere might be better? How about your Majesty's flagship? Indeed. Flagship. Is something the matter, Lady Laura? I I'm just not very good in that kind of stuffy environment. Oh, well, you're not alone there. That's the worst. Right? I think I'll sit this particular venture out. 
Yeah, I'm out too. Oh, no, you don't. Wait a minute. Is that her? Yes, this is Mithra, one of the Aegises. <sighs> Your account would be valuable as well, Laura. Everything I've seen or heard, Jin will know as well. Uh, uh, yes, that's true. Please, would you go instead of me, please? Of course. I will do as you wish. Thank you kindly. Well then, shall we? I suppose we shall. Well then, my friend, shall we make a move? Your Majesty. This may not be my position to say, but wouldn't it not be wise to first investigate the location we spoke of? Ah, yes, you do raise a valid point. Uh, please consider His Majesty's feelings. He wishes for quality time to spend with his dear friend, Prince Adam. I am honored that you value me so highly. But I think this is a decision best left to Hugo. What do you say? Would that be getting in the way of your mission? No, no, not in the slightest. In fact, I believe you are just as much involved in this whole affair as us. But what you're traveling alongside... What with you traveling alongside the Aegis, that much is clear. So this mission of yours has something to do with Malos. Exactly so. Uh, Aegeon? Is that right? Would you? Of course. By official decree, allow me to formally disclose to you the nature of our mission. On the surface, we have traveled here to work on diffusing diplomatic tensions between the Empire and Koea. But at the same time, there is another matter we are investigating. And that, I presume, is Malos. So what are you going to do? Take him down? Capture him? At the present time, neither. This is His Majesty's wish to ascertain the intent of this Malos, and indeed anyone who wishes our Empire harm. Then I assume new intelligence has come to light. The fourth decade report reported in, and just as you were on your way to Torikov, you had discovered an area of land that has been scorched black by some colossal power. I don't think Adam's going to want to ignore that one. You read my mind. You go as much as I enjoy reminiscing out on, out on, on the Cloud Sea, I'd like to enjoy some more of the scenery first. Of course. If you like, we can take a side trip before we return to the ship. Laura, is this wise? I still want to decorate the grave, so I'll wait for you in the village. Everything will be fine. Haze is with me, after all. That's right. Please take as much time as you need. All right. Maybe it's for the best that she doesn't get to see the extent of Malice's devastation. So you say the fourth decade found traces of Malice's destruction, and that would be where? It would appear to be Velifum Hill, heading inland from Ordea Great Plains. But I'm afraid I've received no further information. We have no recourse but to go and examine the area ourselves. From here, it's probably even closer than the harbour. Indeed, and that is where we must go. Perhaps you can entertain us with tales of your adventures as we make our way, Adam. Okay, so we're not going to have Laura around. We never turn a blind eye to people in need. There's a case of like, I still want to go leveling up and stuff. It's like, well, we've still got Team Laura, and Laura, the team, is where, where the XP is. So it's like, we will play as Adam from here on out, though. Well, not here on out, but, you know, in the future. And what I am actually going to do is, if I can, go on and explore. Like, yeah, I just did that. Yeah, I just, I just did, I literally just did this. And some of the other stuff. All right, we'll spam you. Wait, what, what, what? what? That's very much like, uh, would you mind going in my place, Jin? Yes. Right, so it's all about going to the flagship. Okay. Okay, so Team Laura's there again. Fine, 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 fine. Okay, so that that is just so light in case I want to do the whole leveling up, etc., isn't it? That's what that's there for. Right, so we are obviously ending this part here. It's gone on a little bit longer than I expected, but we did have some awesome scenes and stuff like that. So... We shall see you in the next part, after I've probably done a lot of exploring around this place. Probably found some more green barrels, as they are quite all over the place here. I've, I mean, I see four in this in this You're bit alone. You're coming with me, treasure.
It's like this. I'm gonna find several of them. Let's put it like that. It's like, it's like this one here. There's two up there. You get the idea. So we'll see you in the next part and see what level we are and stuff like that. I'll try not to level up too much. I promise to try. No, I don't promise that I won't. I'll just promise that I'll try not to. The suspense is killing you. Know. So we'll see you in the next part. Ta-ta for now.